Hi, we are four inspired teachers from different countries participating on the Pisa for You program. We come from Serbia, Germany and Portugal. My name is Elena and I'm an elementary and high school math teacher in Portugal. My name is Stefan and I teach PE and Science of Education in a secondary school in Germany. Hello, my name is Elia and I'm a mathematics teacher working in an elementary and secondary school near Lisbon in Portugal. Hello, my name is Maria. I come from Serbia. I'm an English language teacher uh, in Luka Karadžić Primary School in Knevžovac. We're the inspired teachers who truly love our job and we see the PISA for You program as a great opportunity to learn but also to make a difference in education. As teachers, we are facing typical pedagogical challenges every day. These challenges should not be accepted, but mounted and mastered. We are more likely to succeed if we collaborate with teachers around the world, as experiences, knowledge and ideas can be shared. We believe collaboration is a powerful and promising approach to find or build a common solution for any challenge. There are many everyday challenges for a teacher. Some typical everyday challenges are behavioral problems, to deal with a lack of support, manage the workload, class sizes, a dynamic class management, to compensate a lack of required equipment and educational technologies, and so on. Of course, we could name a lot more. After discussing these challenges, we identified a specific one that mattered most to all of us and that we all were willing to work on. Teaching in mixed ability classes. In other words, it is the challenge of promoting equal opportunities for learning in mixed ability classes. We believe that every child, every student, should have the opportunity to develop its potentials as much as possible. And it is our role as teachers to help them learn and grow at their own speed and uh, to help them uh, grow according to their abilities, needs and interests. However, dealing with a mixed ability classroom is not an easy task. It takes a lot of craft, time and energy. As this is the case in most of the countries, our classes size can range from 27 to 34 students with different maturity level, different subject skills, strengths and weaknesses, different social abilities, different socioeconomic backgrounds, different preferences for learning and presenting their work, and different development rates. Some classes might have a large number of low achievers and only a few medium or high achievers. The challenge to adapt our teaching seems even higher when there are more students in each group of achievers. Our aim was to conquer our challenge and to make an effective and efficient learning setting where everyone will be engaged according to their own abilities and interests, where uh, high achievers wouldn't be bored with too many gradual steps and where low achievers wouldn't be bored and demotivated for the lack of understanding or comprehension. As a teacher cannot clone himself, the best approach was to enable them to work independently on the adapted tasks. So it was getting clear. It just dawned on us. The solution is to funnel our challenge into one single approach. Building an independent learner. We believe that this single approach enables us as teachers to reach every student, no matter their ability group, and equip them with the strategies they need to overcome their difficulties or improve their learning. Our winning solution is a powerful kit for mixed ability classrooms. It is a kit that equips a teacher with a set of strategies for class management. 
and an assessment tool of a set of criteria to foster independent learning of the students. A powerful kit for Miss Stability classes suggests a classroom setting approach which is based on fostering independent learning skills by promoting individual tasks in pairs or in groups of the students of either of the same or different level of achievement. Moreover, it provides a set of criteria to assess the students' progress regarding their development of the independent learning skills. So, it can be used as an assessment tool for teachers, but also as a self-evaluation sheet for students themselves. Independent productive work entails the students' independent work, which leads to the work products prepared and produced by the students. This could be achieved by the following strategies. Graded homework learning tasks, group research works, problem-solving tasks, creative work in mixed groups, more complex opinion essays, simultaneous practicing tasks, attribute roles, communicate concepts in different ways, or self-evaluation. Firstly, it is important that the students are motivated to improve their own independence in learning. In order to do so, we recommend you a few strategies, such as writing their own individual goals on a set of birds and move these birds as they progress in their independence. Uh, in order to reach these individual goals, the students are much more focused on their work and uh, uh, it is easier to manage group work among them. Secondly, it is mandatory to use some educational techniques to ensure students become active listeners of the group's presentations, giving them an empty handout to fill in according to other group's findings or announcing a quiz at the end of the class. In order to check the effectiveness of the approach for providing equal opportunities in a mixed ability classroom, we devised a SMART goal. By doubling productive work within an eight lesson period, we aim at increasing the independent learning skills of low to high ability students by 30% in order to create a more efficient and effective learning atmosphere in a mixed ability class. Our idea was to see how effective our approach was for building an independent learner and how does it improve the management of a mixed ability class. We put the program to the test in two classes in Serbia and in Germany. We determined the starting position of independent learning skills by evaluating the students according to the set of criteria. Then we checked our lesson plans and doubled the number of given independent individual learning tasks in the lesson plans for the next eight lessons. In the following experimental phase, we implemented the suggested strategies. In a retest, we determined the ending position of independent learning results. We devised the criteria sheet for every teacher or student on this globe. It is a set of 14 indicators of the student's behavior and it shows the presence of certain independent learning skills. And in order to detect and define these indicators, we related to the 21st century skills and competences. And we formulated the basic and the advanced level of these indicators. Some examples of the indicators are a student is capable to organize himself. A student is confident and efficient in citing the included references. Or a student manages tasks within a team more efficiently. We achieved our SMART goal in both of the tested groups. 
The only difficulties that I noticed during my experiment uh, was uh, that some, some groups of students were too much involved with their own work, not paying attention whether they disturb others or not. In order to solve this problem, I used the general strategies that we proposed, but the most powerful thing was making them familiar with the criteria that I was assessing, and that made them more attentive, more careful and more observant about their behavior. And that would prove, I would say, that uh, our uh, set of criteria uh, could be a very effective and useful uh, self-evaluation sheet for students that would help them self-regulate their behavior. In Germany, we tested a grade 5, asking for more productive work like producing a film in which they should introduce their school to elementary students, they obviously changed their learning behavior. Even if the time period was too short to judge every indicator properly, the average student increased the independent learning skills by more than 30% by improving in three indicators describing social behavior and self-confidence. We really tried hard to collect a lot of external feedback from experts, namely teacher colleagues, university students, teachers in training, researchers, teachers from other countries like Israel, USA, Italy and China, and other teachers participating in the Pisa for You program. We asked for written quality feedback reports, we made interviews, read comments on our draft and used anonymized questionnaires. We got a lot of applauses, but as well a lot of criticism and suggestions. Main suggestions were that we should reduce the expected percentage and extend the 8 lesson period. We should also introduce the criteria sheet as a self-evaluation tool for students. We were asked to name more general strategies which motivate students, especially for the higher level learners and to make the criteria more specific and concrete by including only observable behavior. There were suggestions to add some more criteria and ensure that a quiet working environment is provided. We rephrased and modified our set of criteria uh, in order to make them more handleable, more practical and more usable by any teacher in this world. And we suggested also an additional use of these criteria. And it would be that besides being an assessment tool for teachers who would measure uh, or just assess the independent, uh, the independent learning skills of the students, it can also be used as a self-evaluation sheet for students. This way, the criteria sheet and our resource kit become meaningful for every student who needs a direction in his development process to an independent learner and for every teacher on the globe who wants his students accompany in their process of building an independent learner in or outside a mixed ability classroom. It gives a universal tone to our resource kit, meaning that any teacher in the world who seeks to improve his students' independent learning skills, 21st century life skills and competencies can use our kit. Powerful kit develops independent learning skills in students, which encompass the relevant 21st century life skills and competencies. Besides, learning independently gives them a framework to broaden their content knowledge and to foster different subject skills. Students learn at their own speed and how much they can and they are not confined to a single frame. In this setting, a student steadily shapes himself with different knowledge skills and competencies according to personal preferences and abilities. By presenting the set of criteria to the students and discussing it with them, teachers can do even more as this tool becomes useful for self-evaluation purposes. We increase learners' responsibility in their own development and make them our partners in their personal growth. It makes it easier for teachers to manage mixability classes, focus on differentiated instruction, giving simultaneous tasks corresponding to the students' levels. 
Teachers rely on the students' independence in performing tasks, empowering them and focus on following the progress of all the students. Instead of being a central teaching figure who provides all the input, a teacher becomes more a group coordinator, a helper, a guider, uh, a supporter. And instead of being focused on, uh, on uh, his or her own uh, teaching performance and teaching delivery, he's more focused on the students, on their acquiring and learning process. And by monitoring students uh, during their work, uh, a teacher can detect the possible erring long before they have written tests. And uh, it is a great opportunity to correct uh, his or her students in a less intru intrusive way. It leaves them a feeling that they do something concrete, as all their students are active and engaged, and they grow and develop both the required skills and the competencies beneficial for life, such as self-direction, self-awareness, confidence, initiative, and so on. Firstly, we recommend that you use our kit in a mixed ability class to foster the steady development of all the students regarding their independent learning skills as it enables them to work efficiently and effectively on their individual goals in any subject. Secondly, we recommend that you use your criteria sheet as a self-assessment tool for students on a regular basis. For example, once in two or three months to remind them what they are doing and motivate them further. It could be done as a reflection activity where the progress of the written goals should also be referred to. Third, we recommend that you calculate the percentage increase of the improvement of the independent skills once in a six-month period. We recommend you uh, to check the students' feedback on their learning experience and uh, to make uh, any necessary improvements to overcome the possible difficulties. Uh, we also recommend you to compare the students' achievement before and after using our kit and also to adapt it to suit their needs, uh, their interests, but also your teaching goals. It targets a huge challenge for the modern education setting, experienced by almost any teacher in the world. It is applicable to all subjects, it offers a firm base on which all the teachers can build on using their creativity and their observations. Fostering independent learning and self-evaluation skills, our kit makes our students responsible learning partners. And moreover, it teaches our students to have and to practice a proactive approach towards their lives. And it directs them to focus on creating the beneficial and advantageous life skills, which would suit them a lot into their future. It helps teachers to recognize the need for developing these skills of their students and focus on their improving, giving them a methodological framework to work on their subject goals together with it. It is open to further improvements to suit the students' needs, as even the best teaching solutions are not fixed and ready-made. Teaching is a complex dynamic process, which requires constant focus on your students, on the effects of your teaching, planning, thinking, trying, rethinking, retrying and succeeding. It's an endless process, but that's what it makes the best teachers. We believe that the best teachers should be aware that they grow together with their learners and that they must work on the modifications and improvements all the time because what works for one generation might not work for another. The best of all these things about our resource is that our resource kit keeps you on the right track, creating capable, independent, self-aware self-directing, self-organizing, self-initiative, IT literate, creative, collaborative, presentable, communicative and rethinking people.